laying the foundations for new beginnings in Birmingham. Here in Erdington, there are plans to build 116 new homes consisting of houses and bungalows tailored towards the local housing demand. We've got a lot of elderly people in the local area who have desperately been needing bungalows to move into. So to have some more bungalows being built in the local area is just really um, beneficial to the local community and something that's been desperately needed. We've done a lot of work with the council trying to make sure that we'd got the sort of housing need that was the housing offer that was needed. So we haven't gone for any more flats here because there's already a lot of flats in Edmonton. We've gone for those sort of family homes and bungalows which just really meet the local housing need. The development will see half of the houses up for sale and the other half available for rent. It's something that's being mirrored across Birmingham. New homes are popping up as part of the Birmingham Municipal Housing Trust programme and demand is high. I mean, there's real demand and we've got some real pressure on, on council waiting lists, uh, you know, 20,000 families in, 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 that are waiting for, for housing at the moment. So we're doing all we can to try and increase that supply of housing and ensure that there's a range of options there. So we, we're building houses for rent. We're also building houses for sale and we're trying to ensure that every person in this city has the opportunity of a decent affordable home so that's why the municipal housing trust program is so important and here in Erdington it's not just about providing housing the project's also offering job opportunities for many in the local area Apprentice employment is really important for the industry in, ter in, in terms of being able to bring people into, into employment and encourage them to st stay working in the, uh, in the house building industry. So uh, yeah, we're delighted to be able to start on a new job and provide those opportunities for lo local uh, people, in, in, uh, local apprentices to, uh, to come and work on this scheme as they have done on the Abbey Fields uh, scheme not, not awfully far away from here. You can only le learn so much in terms of, uh, in terms of college, college work uh, and theory but there's nothing quite, quite like practical experience on the ground. It's really critical and across Birmingham any opportunities for us to uh, in, engage and, and employ young apprentices uh, and uh, encourage them to stay working in the industry which is essential uh, for the sort of delivery of homes that we're, we're looking to achieve in Birmingham and, and across the country really. So it's, a, it's an excellent opportunity. Joel is one of the apprentices working on the Erdington Gardens project. For him, this is vital for his career development. By the end of it, I'll have a fully qualified electrics behind me, so it's very beneficial. So what specifically will you be doing on this project? Uh, everything electrically, really. First fix, second fix, final fix. The project will take 10 years to complete, so let the digging commence. Lois Swinnerton for The Midland in Erdington.